All right, so this is the outside of the house. We're gonna just go through this. Probably need somebody to get over here and get the grass cut, uh, de-weed the flower bed, give us some street appeal. Uh, the roof that you had talked to me about over the phone, you're actually probably, we're gonna need to discuss if we're gonna just try to sell this house as is to an investor or try to get some retail money out. Uh, if we're gonna try to do the retail money, you're definitely gonna have to replace this roof, for sure. Uh, this is uh, this is a drive-by, smaller caliber gunshots. Um, and if you're inside the house, that looks way more evident, by the way. It's another one right here that caught at an angle, getting shot towards the front door. Uh, but all this roofing needs to be redone. Repaint this front door, reset the lock. Um, let's go inside, take a quick look around. I got a flashlight. This door will have to be refinished to get it looking good. Uh, my flashlight I'll just take here. So if you come in, has a room right off of the uh, entryway here. Uh, the carpet gives the appearance that it's in pretty decent shape until you get right about here. And then you can really start to see how worn it is. So it needs all new carpet. The paint actually is not in that bad of shape. To be honest with you, um, you could get away with not painting this house on the interior. Um, after the carpet, of course, we'll just get a good re-clean, caulk around the tub, um, you know, clean up around these baseboards and stuff. You can tell what's what in the video here. Just kind of re-clean it up, put some new caulk in, new carpet. This is the best judge right here is if the fans are clean and this fan's actually not in bad shape. So somebody did try to keep this house clean uh, and maybe not smoke in it or have a lot of pet dander in it. It's a good size house. It's single story, of course. Um, has a two car garage. Um, coming into the kitchen, it gives a good little open feel to the kitchen. Uh, a little bit wider than a normal gallery kitchen. It's got a spot here for a microwave to get put into place. Um, not that bad of a setup if uh, somebody was gonna buy it even to uh, be their personal residence. So uh, there's that. This is where if somebody were to walk through the house and again, you can see this is actually a bullet mark coming through here, bullet coming through here, and you can definitely see it if you're standing inside the garage and looking at that garage door where they came in. Also in the garage, you can see here and here where they came in, here and here. So they weren't large caliber, but uh, probably high velocity uh, type rounds that came in. All right. You know what, the utilities are on. I just couldn't, there was a couple of lights I couldn't make on, but this one's, this one's on here coming into the house. Uh, and then the kitchen was on too. I think Kathy's out in front of me. She's trying to get the lights turned on. Good looking den, um, backyard, uh, looks, looks pretty good. The wood out there is old. Uh, it could stand to be uh, painted. Uh, maybe a couple of boards replaced to make it look really well, but it's got a large back porch Going across it's covered you got a branch that's fallen uh, The cable TV line what the come on man All right, so they ran the cable and just kind of drug it across the concrete. I would probably say to cut that loose <laughs> Just let somebody else whoever's next gonna figure that out. You got a screen out here off of the window I'm not sure which window, it's not either one of these two. Um, all that needs to be probably pressure washed. You got a little bit of rotten wood out here on this deck. I don't know if I'd go through all that hassle or not. 
Your AC condenser is still here inside the cage. Uh, again, this branch um, is out here just hanging on the back of the house. Now it's not. Uh, got a huge tree out in your backyard. All right, let's go inside and check the uh, other beds and baths out. Try to remember to lock these doors as we go through. So we saw one of the bedrooms on the front. Ooh, that's right. And then there, of course, there's a little evidence of uh, one of the rounds coming through that glass, which probably stopped coming through that interior wall and that thick of a mirror. I don't see where it hit in the brick or exited one of these other windows here. <clears throat> All right, coming down the hallway. Carpet, again, probably needs to be replaced. Make it look good. Uh, straighten these blinds up. Fan looks pretty good. Spot in the ceiling right there. Looks like somebody poked through with a screwdriver or something. Closet's in pretty decent shape. Doorknobs are the same ones that's been here the whole time. I don't know how big of a deal that'll be. They're actually all a little different as you go through the house. But anyway, uh, one of the bedrooms here in the back the bathroom, double vanity sink, this looks okay. Uh, and then the other bedroom, a couple of major stains in the carpet there. And the closet looks pretty decent too. All right, and then you can see carpet frayed and tore up right here, if that helps. Okay, all right, so that's it. That's the walkthrough on your house. It's about seven minutes worth of video. I think I gave you a pretty decent explanation of what I'm looking at. Um, if you need anything else, let us know. Kathy's out here with me, Kathy Bray, and uh, she'll help us. You'll help, won't you? All right, all right. Kathy's gonna help us too. All right, thank you, bye. All right, this is just a little add-on video. <laughs> Kathy saw these in the other room. So this, again, there were a couple of rounds came through, also coming through these holes uh to the room to the left of the front door to give you an idea of how big that is that's my finger next to the hole so and then this is the one that would have went all the way through and made it in through that mirror on the other side all right that's it all right just because we're even getting amazed at this point here's another one coming in through the security door man that's a that's a heavy round coming through that that solid metal frame right there and then piercing this door uh, all the way through. Uh, and this is a solid wood door. It's an inch and a half thick. So, and then it looks like it deflected and hit the ceiling right there also. And then skimmed down one more and caught it again right there into the trim. So, all right, enough about the bullet holes.